Amen. Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins. Then I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Today is the day that the Lord has made. I pray you're rejoicing with us and you are glad in it. Today is also day number 15. That's right. Day number 15 of us praying about hope in hard times. We're praying about hope in hard times all month long. And each day we're just reading a passage of scripture that reminds us and teaches us about placing our hope in God. Even in these hard times, God says we can hope and trust in him. And so today we're going to be reading from Psalm 119 and verse 147. Psalm 119 verse 147 from the New Living Translation of the Word of God. Here's what the Word of God says. I rise early before the sun is up. I cry out for help and put my hope in your words. Amen. I rise early before the sun is up. I cry out for the help and put my hope in your words. As we go to the Lord today in prayer for hope in hard times, we want to pray that we will cry out to God for help, that we'll cry out for him for help. And then secondly, we want to pray that we will connect to God's word for hope, that we'll connect to his word for hope. Come on, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you and bless you and praise you this day. For this is the day that you have made. God, we are rejoicing and we are glad in it. God, we thank you for the privilege of prayer. We thank you for the power that is in prayer. We thank you for the potential that is in prayer. And God, we thank you that we can rise up early in the morning before the sun comes up and cry out to you for help. For Lord God, you told us that if we abide in you, and your words abide in us. We can ask what we will, and it will be done for us. So, Lord God, today we need help. We need help in our families, Lord. We need help as husbands. We need help as wives. We need help as sons and daughters. We need help in our life, Lord, um, as we live it before you. We ask for help, Lord, for our single people, Lord, that are going through life, praising you, God, being single and satisfied in you. We pray, Lord God, for help on our jobs. We pray, Lord God, for help in our careers. We pray, Lord God, that you would come alongside of us through our educational pursuits, Lord, and provide the help and the hope that we need. God, we praise you and glorify you for being there, Lord, and being our hope even in hard times. So, God, we call upon you this day, and we count upon you this day, Lord God, and we cry out to you for help, Lord. We need you. We cannot make it without you. God, we know you to be Emmanuel. You are God with us. And so we thank you, Lord, for your helping hand. We thank you, Lord, that you help us along the way. We thank you, Lord, that when we run out of patience, Lord, when we run out of strength, when we run out of faith, Lord, you are our great supplier. For Lord God, you have promised to supply every one of our needs according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. So, Lord God, we thank you, Lord, for your divine help in our families, divine help in our finances, your divine help in our health care situations, Lord, your divine help in our in our children, Lord, and raising them and all that you do with helping us in ministry. Lord, we give you the praise, the glory and the honor for the help that it can only come from you. And then, Lord God, we pray today that you would help us to connect to your word for hope. Lord, the psalmist said he not only cried out for help, but he put hope in your words. Lord, help us to put our hope in your word. For Lord, you told us about your word that the grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of the Lord will stand forever. So Lord God, we know that troubling times come in seasons and they come, Lord, but they don't come to stay always. But your word is everlasting to everlasting. So, Lord, in these hard times, help us to put our hope in your word. Help us to hide your word in our hearts, God, that we might not sin against you. Help us, Lord, to put hope in your word in these dark days in which we live in, that your word would literally be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway. Lord, help us to put hope in your word, O God, that we might have more faith in your word. For you said faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Help us to put hope in your word, O oh God, 
For we know, Lord God, that your word is your will. And we want your will to be done on earth, even as it is in heaven. So, Lord God, as we open up your scriptures and we read your word, Lord, let it bring hope to our lives. As we hear preachers and teachers proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ, help us to place our hope in your words. God, we hear so many words throughout the day from this person and that person, from friends and families and even our foes. But God, help us to put faith in your word. For Lord, your word is eternal. It is everlasting to everlasting. It is settled in heaven. So help it to settle us here on the earth. And we'll be able to give you praise, glory, and honor. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, New Horizons Church. Thank you, family and friends, for praying with us today. Again, today was day number 15 of us praying about hope in hard times. And we prayed from Psalm 119, verse 147, from the New Living Translation of the Word of God. And it says, I rise early before the sun is up. I cry out for help and put my hope in your words. If you're going through a hard time today, cry out to God for help and put your hope hope in his words. God is able to help in hard times. We'll be back tomorrow to pray with you and to pray for you. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification button. Let someone know Pastor Wiggins and the New Horizons Church are praying about their hope in hard times. We'll be back to pray with you again tomorrow. I love you in the Lord. Be victorious. God bless.